With the fourth pick in the NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select. Don't even get me started. This is going to be the most ridiculous, just... I can't. Even, I don't even want to know what Jerry Jones is thinking, to be honest, because he can go a number of different routes, and honestly, they all just make me angry. <laughs> but they're America's team. I have no reaction to that. I just, I'm just going to continue to look at my board. <laughs> so who who do you have them taking? <sighs> I have them taking Elliot, and as dumb as I think that that pick is for them, and if, if I'm going strictly what I think they should do. I think they should take Bosa. I don't think that they should take Elliott. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think they need a running back. They just signed Alfred Morris. And it's Jerry Jones' world. So, whatever he wants to do. You're right. They just signed Alfred Morris. They took him away from the Washington Redskins. So that solidifies the running back position, I think. Behind this offensive line, I think me and you could probably run for a thousand yards. That's how great their offensive line is is but let's be honest the reason they're number four in the draft is because tony Romo got hurt against the eagles this season exactly they need a quarterback yeah and the only way they take a quarterback is if somehow wentz falls to four which if you heard our earlier talk um he's going to he's going to Cleveland, mm-hmm. and i think i almost think that's a lock there not 100 percent, but almost and outside of the quarterback they don't need a running back it is not a need for them. One thing that they really do need is a guy on defense. Because with Romeo, you know, under center, they're a much different team. They're not winning one game basically without him. They're going to win a lot of games with him. They could have possibly won the NFC East this year if they had Mark Sanchez as a backup quarterback, let's say. I mean, their backup quarterbacks just were awful. There's no way around it. It was cost them they would throw away the game left and right yeah and you even had a game where their defense kept them in a game with seattle which it was a 13 to 12 game if anyone recalls they had four field goals and you put almost anyone else other than uh, i think it was matt castle or we didn't or whoever it could have been my brother and i don't have a brother for that point and it wouldn't have made a difference it wouldn't have made a difference they had a horrible year just because they didn't have romo and honestly, I don't think our running back will fix that because they didn't need a running back last year, and they definitely don't need one this year. Tony Romo, for how good he is, he's 35 years old. He's old. Dallas went through a string of quarterbacks from Aikman on just to try and find a replacement, and they spent years trying to find Tony Romo. For how much people hate him, even if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan, you criticize him less than he is a good quarterback. He is. He is. And he came in for Drew Bledsoe. That's uh, saying a lot back then. Because he, uh, you know, Tony Romo was an undrafted free agent, as many of us do know. And the guy's a stud now. I mean, as, as much as I hate the Cowboys, he has done a lot of good for that organization. And unfortunately, you know, he got injured last year for them. Fortunately for us, we didn't have to deal with them. But unfortunately for them, he got injured. Now, you know... I hear he's healthy. I hear he's doing good. I don't care if they say he's healthy. He's good. He's injury prone in mind. He he barely has a shoulder anymore. That's true. Let alone a collarbone that he's popped out probably about two or three times. Let's not forget about that wonderful back he has as well. He can't be touched, and you can't you can't trust a thirty five year old quarterback. If you're gonna be number four, who knows the next time you're gonna be number four? You could be top two next year if you don't have Romo again this year. If That's you don't, true. If you don't get another quarterback, so. I could see Goff going high, number four, or Wentz. But in Jerry's mind, Rome was his quarterback. So we're going to keep that in mind with our selection. I'm going to go with Joey Bosa out of Ohio State, who is on my board one of the top defenders right behind Ramsey. Dallas would love to have Ramsey in the secondary. Yeah, but I think they need a pass rusher up front because I believe they just let go of Greg Hardy, who is just psychotic. So yeah, they have to let that go. Even t- If you're too psychotic for Jerry Jones, you know you have problems. It's true. And one the problem with Jerry Jones is that sometimes he does things that hurt the Cowboys a lot more than the Cowboys think. So I think they should go Joey from Ohio State. I think that's a great pick. Um, I think it helps their defense a lot more than 
Elliott will help their offense. I help. I think it helps their team now and in the future a lot more than Elliott does. I mean, the steal of last year's draft where people are saying Randy Gregory, this guy was a steal. He could just slip throughout the draft and Cowboys just grabbed them. Well, now he might face a year-long suspension for illegal substances, and so you might not even have a defensive end at all. Yeah. So, I mean, Joey Bosa out of Ohio State, not only is he stud, he's being compared to the likes of J.J. Watt. That is high praise coming out of Ohio State like that, and he's better suited. People are saying Buckner, but no, Buckner's more of a 3-4. Dallas runs a 4-3 where your hand is on the ground, and you have two defensive ends and two defensive tackles going after the ball carrier. So I think Dallas has done a great job with their 4-3 defense the last couple of years, and they have a good defense. The issue is Sean Lee's been injured at the middle linebacker position, so that can raise questions about Miles Jack possibly going to Dallas. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing that if I was a Cowboys fan because he can ball too. Bosa and Jack are two phenomenal players. The knock on Jack is, is that he's hurt. He was missed all last season due to an injury, but you really can't go wrong with any of these players except Elliott. Yeah. Because in Jerry Jones' mind, he might think he's going to be the next Emmett Smith. But you can't win if you don't have a defense. Exactly. And part of the problem with their defense last year is it was really inconsistent. Um, they didn't have a ton of pass rush. As you said, Hardy was suspended for a little bit, but he only finished with, I think, six and a half sacks. That's not a lot. I think he played 10 games, six and a half sacks. And for what he was getting paid, which was up to $13 million that year, wow. which, I mean, we all know he was not worth it. I'll take a mill. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a mill too if you got something to share. But they need a lot more help. They need a lot more help on that defensive line. And I think Bosa is the, the smartest and the safest pick for them. A lot of people have Bosa, though, fallen because of character issues, saying he's partying too much at Ohio State. He was suspended early in their season. But let's be honest, Sherry Jones has no problem taking a player that might have been partying too hard. Yeah, that's never been a problem with him. And uh, you're looking for the next Manziel. Hey, we might not be talking about a quarterback long in the draft. Hey, Manziel can find his way to Dallas, maybe. Be Tony Romo's backup. Makes sense. He's from Dallas. <laughs> if, if Jerry Jones takes Manziel, we might as well just call him a college team at this point. <laughs> My other problem is, as, a, as an Eagles fan, they... They have a lot of players coming back. Orlando Skandrick was their best corner, and he missed all last year due to injury. They get him back, and that might be their biggest addition because that really solidifies the secondary for them. You add Bosa, that gives them the pass rush to go along with it. Sean, Sean Lee terrorized the Eagles in the beginning of the season last year. Yep. He racked up, I think, close to 20 tackles in that ball game. Now, you give him Bosa to free him up even more, ah, uh, the NFC East might be there for the take. Yeah, and that's kind of the, that's kind of the scary thing about the NFC East is it's not good enough to win when you got to go through the Cowboys when they're healthy. And one of the big problems with the Cowboys is they are inconsistently healthy. Sean Lee feels like he's out every single year, but mm-hmm. something usually is me. And uh, I think their weakest point is still their secondary. Skandrick was out mm-hmm. last year, but. Morris Playborn has been a no-show for the last couple years. They they thought he was going to be their lockdown corner, and he hasn't done anything. He got benched in the middle of this season. You brought up Mo Claiborne. I really think they haven't played in the wrong position. I think he is a safety, not a cornerback. They need him. They, they, they have they, no choice. They need him, and, and they don't really have a lot of depth back there. I mean, after, after they benched him, they didn't really have a lot else left. And part of the problem is they haven't had a lot of safety help in a while. And I don't know what they're going to do because I think they're praying somehow that Ramsey falls to them. If, if Ramsey fell to them, that would be, their, in their eyes, probably the biggest steal of the draft. Oh, probably. Yeah, I would agree with that. But I don't think he falls. I don't either. But you have Bosa going. Number four to Dallas to reiterate. He is a load. He can get to the pass rusher. See, I'll say he's the best prospect in the draft, which... If you see his highlight reel, you might agree because he can wreak havoc left and right. Jerry Jones would love to have this guy. Bottom line, they add Bosa. This could be a Dallas team that represents the NFC. If everyone stays healthy, I mean, that never comes true. But if you're the Golden State Warriors or the NBA, probably. (laughs) But Dallas, if you have Roma stay healthy, you picked up Morris. You have to throw it to Des Bryant. You have Jason Witten. 
Bosa, Scandrick, Lee, you have all the pieces. They have a very talented team. They really do. And they could easily make a shot, you know, easily for the, for the NFC title, you know, just for the NFC East. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, if you look at the whole conference, I mean, last season, before Romo was injured, they were being talks of possibly challenging Seattle to make it to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even that far-fetched. And then the Panthers came out going 14-0 until they lost to the Falcons. But before that, there was a lot of talk about the, the Cowboys. The Cowboys! The fourth overall pick Cowboys possibly leading the division and leading the conference. That's how you don't know. The fourth overall. You don't know Dallas might be picking in the 20th next year. You really don't know what's going to happen. So this is going to be, I think, the biggest pick of this upcoming draft, number four, because Dallas can go in several different directions. Yeah, and this is the highest they've been in years. Uh, they've been consistently consistent <laughs> over their past... Eight uh, and eight. Eight and eight. And over the past, uh, I don't know, since 96, I am I feel like the stat is they went 156, 156. We will have to check that. But they are wildly consistent in that department. And they have. I think this is the lowest they've picked in... Like 20 years. I'm pretty sure they haven't had a top five pick in a very, very long time. So I know they're excited. Um, one of the big things for me and thinking about who they're going to pick is, is it going to be Jerry Jones' ego that gets in the way? Or are they going to be smart and pick the guy who they should pick? Again, we haven't taken Bosa, but they could go the quarterback, Jared Goff. They could go with Ezekiel Elliott. Or they could go with another guy like Miles Shaq. We'll see what Jerry Jones decides to do on draft day. Jerry's world, baby. Jerry's world. 